Hey guys, it's Jennifer. My cat, she loves me. Um, this is my week four update video. I didn't make it on Monday like I should have. And I don't think I made a week three. Um, so let me just update because I want to and need to. Um, what did I weigh in it this week? I don't know, like 203 something? I don't know. Um, I so don't care anymore. Um, I am... I have been miserable for about a month. Um, this surgery is horrible every day that passes. Um, I, tonight, am feeling a lot of not just anger, but rage that I did this. Um, I wish I would not have let anybody from the community ever think, make me think that this was going to be a good idea. <clears throat> I was on the border of actually not having the surgery. I was um, contemplating not doing it. And I had to make a decision within two hours time of whether I was going to have surgery or not. And I thought I would regret it if I didn't do it. So I went ahead and said I would do it and now it's done. And it's counterproductive to like wish I hadn't done it. But I've been saying that every day for a month. I wish I hadn't done it. Um, I'm now taking 12 pills a day. Half of them are supplements. And I don't mind taking the supplements. I take like a multi... I take two multivitamins. A B12. Uh, one... Uh, wait, wait. Two vitamin C's. An iron, calcium, and... Wait, wait. No, it's calcium, magnesium, magnesium and zinc. Uh, my multivitamin has added iron in it. Um, and then I'm taking my bipolar medication, obviously. And now I'm taking a pill for nausea every day. Taking my acid reflux medicine every day. I'm taking, oh, I'm taking melatonin for sleep because I don't want to take my sleeping pill anymore. Which is really helping. Three milligrams really helps. Helps better than the sleeping pill did. <clears throat> and... As of yesterday, I'm now on some medication. Let me get it because it'd be easier if I just get it and show you to it because I can't pronounce the name of it. Um, I don't know if you can even read it. See, it's backwards. Um, it's called, it's A-M-I-T-I-Z-A. Amatiza, maybe? Amatiza, I don't know. But it's for people who have like severe constipation. Um, I have gone, this is probably TMI, but it's serious and it's real. Um, I've gone like three times in a month. The last two times, none of it has been naturally. I have not had the urge to go and since before surgery. Um, and I'm now exactly one month and one day out. Um, the last two times that I made myself have a bowel movement is because I had to use suppositories. And I have horrible reactions to that. I get really, really um, sweaty and not horribly nauseous. And the tremors are so bad. I mean, they're like this. Like both my hands are, I can't do anything. I can't function. Um, it's just horrible. And it's still extremely painful and it still takes me forever. So that's why they put me on the medication because they said it was a really good, you know, medication for that. And it's specifically mostly for bariatric patients. I guess they, they give it to other people, but for bariatric patients, it's working very well for everyone but me. I've been taking it for two days. They said it should work within 24 hours. It's been 48 hours and nothing's happened. Um, I've tried Marilax. I've tried Dosalex. I've tried high fiber. Um... I did try milk of magnesia, which I did that the day after the suppository. So I don't know why, I don't know if it had the effect it did because of the milk of magnesia or because it was the day after I used a suppository and I did that right after. Um, I've tried stool softeners. I've tried everything. Um, and as of today, it's been, well, as of tomorrow. Man, what is wrong with my neck? As of tomorrow, it'll be seven days. Um, the time before that, I went 10 days. It's just like, it's horrible. Um, you would think it's not that big of a deal, and a lot of people don't want to talk about it, but I've always been, like, real in my videos. Sorry, I can't figure out which hand to use. 
Sorry, and I'm a mess. I'm I'm tired and I'm frustrated and I'm angry. So I don't give a fuck what I look like. Um, I told my doctor about it and his reaction before the medication was just, um, you're not eating a lot. Well, I'm able to eat um, lunch meat now. I'm able to eat bites of chicken. In fact, today I had four bites of chicken and some mashed potatoes all within 25 minutes. So I'm getting food down now. I'm not getting a lot of food down and I can't do it very often. Um, but I am getting food down a little bit at a time. Um, so I'm having my endoscope done on August 18th. That's what we decided at my last appointment. We're doing the endoscope, which I think I did say that in my last video, I think. I don't remember. Um, so when he does the endoscope, he's going to have to look at my intestines and my bowels and see if there's something wrong. Um, I'm going to guess yes, because everything about the surgery has been fucking wrong. Like, I hate the surgery. I hate it. I hate that I ever did it. Do not have revision surgery. I know some people have it because they want to lose more weight. And some people have it because they, like me, they want the restriction back. I got restriction. I got total restriction. I had total restriction for a long time and I was miserable with it. I did not expect surgery to be like this. I just really didn't. And Noah didn't want me, nobody wanted me to have the revision. And except people in the community who kept telling me they would be worth it and that they were glad that they, you know, they went through with it and that I would be glad that I went through with it and that they recommend that I do it because it sounded like something I wanted to do. And I'm not blaming you guys because you didn't make the decision for me, but I don't know what I expected, but this was not it at all. And I'm just so angry, so angry. Every thing I do every day revolves around this stupid thing. I don't know, it's just so frustrating. I don't even care about the weight loss anymore. Like, I didn't care about it when I had the surgery. But I'm totally over it now. Like, people keep saying, oh, you've lost so much weight. Oh. And I have lost a lot of weight in a short amount of time. And I've lost a lot of inches. But who cares? I feel un more unhealthy now than I have felt in two years. And not just health-wise, but mentally, emotionally, it's just too much. It's too much. And I feel kind of bad for Noah because he's really frustrated because he wants what's best for me. Which, oh, by the way, we're getting married November 15th. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that. I'm just kind of excited. Um, but he's frustrated because he wants what's best for me and he sees how miserable I am. And I'm telling him all the time, like, I'm so hungry, but I can't get food down. And I have to, like, get myself on a schedule to eat because I don't, once all this does pan out and I am able to eat food again on a regular basis, I can't go back to the grazing and the binging kind of behavior. Um, so, I don't know. I've had... I have had a Reese cup and I have had a small frozen Coke, like half of a small. I had the small frozen Coke, not because I wanted it, because I have no desire to, to have them. But I had it because I read in one, one of these forums that somebody who had severe constipation had a Coke and it like immediately worked. And I'm so desperate to try anything at this point because um, I don't want to go to the hospital again and... Anyway, so I had it for that, and I only I got a small, I got like half of a small, and I didn't I didn't fill it up all the way, and I didn't even because I didn't drink it, I, I, I ate it, um, and I didn't even all eat all of it, and I was just thinking like the Reese cup I couldn't taste at all. I have no sense of smell, so I really don't have a sense of taste. The Reese cup was like nothing; it was like not even eating anything. I there was no taste at all, which sucks because Reese cups are so good. I remember. How good they were. <laughs> and it did nothing for me. And the frozen Coke almost made me sick to drink. Or not drink, but to ingest. Um, I have no idea what my addiction to those were. 
Like, I don't get it now. So I guess it's kind of a victory, as I know I'm not going to be addicted to those again. But it's just everything has changed. And it's not changed for the better. Nothing has changed for the better. And I'm like, really, I postponed my trip to Texas, which was going to be the week of my birthday in early September. And now I'm going um, after the wedding and we're making it our honeymoon because I'm afraid I'm not going to be healthy enough to go. I don't want to go there and I can't eat anything. Um, and if I have, when I have my dilation done on the 18th in the endoscope, not the 18th, yeah, the 18th, when I have that done... If they discover that there's something else wrong with my bowels or my intestine, I don't know if they can fix that right then. I hope to God they can. Or if I have to have another surgery and I don't want any more. But I'm going to stop bitching and being on the verge of tears because it's not helping anything. But yeah, that's my week four update. Um, I've been hovering around 203 and it's probably because I haven't been able to use the bathroom like I need to. Um... Because I'm certainly not eating more than 500 calories a day. Maybe, maybe 600 today just because I was able to eat four bites of chicken. But I don't think chicken has that many calories. Um, but anyway, that's my update. I am so sorry that I have to come at you with all this negative crap. And I'm just sorry, but it is what it is. And this is what it's like for me. And it's just not cool at all. But anyway, I'm going to go. Um, if you have any questions, I don't mind answering anything um, or everything. I don't, I'll answer whatever you have. Um, or if you don't want to comment at all, that's fine. Thank you for my new subscribers. I'm still getting new subscribers um, at least a couple times a week. So it's really cool. But um, so hi to my new subscribers. I'm sorry I bummed you out today. <laughs> um, I guess that's all. I'm going to go. I'm going to have to go to, what time is it? It's almost 11. I have to try to go to bed earlier because I've not been getting enough sleep lately. So I will talk to you guys all later. Thank you so much for watching and for being so supportive. And I wasn't trying to call anybody out earlier. And I'm not mad at anybody in particular for recommending the revision to me. It's just, I'm just frustrated and angry. So please don't take it personally. Um... I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good weekend, and I'll try to update again on Monday. Hopefully there's more positive news to tell. I don't know. Uh, I will talk to you guys all soon. Thanks.